just such person, you know, like Douglas was one of them. Douglas. Okay. This guy will try to come in every single day and saying that he has a room in the building with no key, no information. You know? Okay. So, you know, he's coming around again. He's, he's, I think okay. He's, no, keep going. You're good. You know, I think he's a little drunk today. Be careful with him, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we already warned, warned him two times. You know, this third time after that, I called the cops on him. Okay. So between, between the, me and my coworkers, we, we would exchange information, you know. Okay. Sometimes, you know, look out for this person. She's acting weird, you know. Uh, don't interact with her. She might go off on you. So what they say about Lisa Lamb? Do they say anything about just, her? Just like uh, what you call to herself quiet. To herself and quiet. Call, okay. But like what you call a little awkward, you know. Awkward. I'm not saying, you know, weird is, I think everybody's weird, you know, on the way. Okay. But, um, yeah, she was uh, what you would call, it seemed like she was like communicating with something. She was communicating with something inside like, of you know, her head. Like right now we have what you call Bluetooth, right? Yeah. It seemed like she had a Bluetooth on her, you know. Did, it seemed like, like she had a Bluetooth? Did you so, see a Bluetooth? No, no, no. She would talk to people. No, I'm like, saying like she, it's right like, now? it's like, you know how sometimes you, you, you talk, you talk, you're talking to somebody. Well, imagine a Bluetooth 30 years ago. What would people think of you? You have this on and you're just talking. It would okay. think a little crazy, you know? A little weird. So it's like she was having an actual conversation. Interacting with somebody. And that's where the whole, the she whole video, the somebody. whole video when she's coming out, she's looking, you know? It like she's like, interacting with somebody. You know, m- most people say she was interacting with the spirit, right? You know, some people would she say. was she was saying that she something was manifesting in front of her and yeah. all that, but like I was telling you about um about the the invisible light agency, you know. Hold up, wait one second. Let's just get all this put out there, okay? We don't we want everybody to make sure what they are. Okay, so the the whole block was secure with security. Okay, the hotel was secure. Okay, so what you're saying, everything about the Cecil Hotel is a very secure hotel. It, is. it wasn't this Wild West place where um, debauchery was happening on every floor. There were gang members running around. There might have been criminal activities happening, but it was sort of under control, under control of the staff. So it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like the prisons were the prisoners were running the asylum. The prisoners were maintained inside the asylum. Perfect example: uh, a college dorm room. Okay. You know, there's different floors, right? Yeah, yeah. You got people going from floor to floor trying to, you know, get into this and that. Yeah. If the girl lets you in, you know, it's, it's that, that's her business, you know? Okay. Same thing was kind of happening at the Cecil Hotel. Okay. But it, it was just certain floors, you know? They, that's where you could do it. You could do stuff. The other floors, there was more cameras. So okay. people would stay away from that. Okay. So that means there was, there was footage, you know? So, okay, once so... You, once you exit what you call the elevator, either way you go, once you once you land what you call at, at, a, at a place where there's, where there's rooms... There's a camera that has to record the fire escape. Okay, there's a camera that has to record the fire escape. You come in, you, you coming out of the elevator and mm-hmm. coming in. That there should be a camera there. There, there. there always are. And then once you've been the corner, either way you're going, fire escapes have have a different one. So there should have been more footage of her. And that's where they could like you know like you could say all right so at uh, at three a.m. That's right. She got out the elevator right timeline. And then from there it should be no lo- no later than ten seconds. There should be footage of her coming into the hallway on the other camera, but that's not there. You know, unless, that's not uh, there uh, unless you know she stayed right in between. Okay, you know, maybe on on you know, like now you could you could get a message at a certain time, and you're like you know you're a little drunk or nothing. Now and you would stay with your phone and you would stay in the same spot for a couple of minutes. But that's now. That's, that's now. But I'm saying yeah. back then it was different. Was technology on phones was different back then? And, okay, so let's. And then that's why I go with the whole thing about. Um, well, wait, 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 let's just put it all out there for. <laughs> let's just put it all out there for. Okay, because you know, so. You're saying that the Cease Hotel, except for the 15th floor, had cameras. So the lobby had cameras. Everywhere. Man. Okay. Well, let me. Okay. How many times did you see Lisa, Lisa Neal, Lisa Neal, Lisa Lamb on the lobby camera doing anything? I've never seen her. The only video evidence they have of her is on the elevator. They've. Ne- if you're saying this, which is true, because I've worked in hotels before as security, and I know I can validate everything you're saying. They have a variety of cameras, fire alarm, elevator, front door, back door. Every every hotel in L.A. has thousands of cameras, probably thousands of cameras too much, but they have hundreds of cameras. They have to because especially in the bad neighborhoods because you get overtaken quick. You get a, you get one of those maniacs in your um, hotel or residence, you have a problem. You might have Richard Ramirez creep in. So what we're saying, okay, so, but I've never seen any other video footage of her, but there should have been a lot of video footage of her. So doesn't that make it kind of crazy? That's the only video footage that we saw 
was on the elevator on the only floor that does not have cameras. The, the footage of her uh, in, coming into the building, into the lobby, because we do that. You know, most of the guards do. You find the blind spots of every single camera. They're, mm-hmm. they're everywhere. So she found the blind spots. And then what you would do is she walked the, on the edges of the... She uh, walked on, on the edges. On the edge of what you call the wall, all over. Because she didn't want to be seen on the cameras. I'm not sure. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know, or maybe, but, or maybe she didn't want to be seen by something or by, by someone. She didn't want to be seen by someone or something, but she was avoiding the cameras. Or she was aware of the cameras. I mean, she saw, how aware are you the camera in the room we're at, at the room we're at right now? In the room we're in right now, it took me a while to find the camera. She knew exactly where it that was. That means that she, she wasn't what you would call, um, you know, what they say she was, you know. You know, somebody that came over here, you know. Stop using her meds and kind of went crazy. Okay, well, let, we, we'll get that in a second. No, let, let, let's just follow this because we don't want to lose people. It's very easy to lose people right here until we're going to get up. Because what you're going to say, God, it, it has to, all the threads have to be tied. Okay, so as you're saying that only certain floors they did things, would she, would she know about these floors? Would they say, hey, ma'am, watch out for the 13th floor, 15th floor? Did, would they warn International tourists about which floors to um, be careful, do they, or was that, or are you up to um, potluck? It all depends on who was working at, at the, you mm. know, at the time when she moved in. Did you? Because did they, you warn? No. Okay, so didn't. most likely they didn't get warned. No, I don't think anybody did. Just okay. you know, they, they they looked at it more of what you call an observer report, you know. But security guards were constantly patrolling. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's put that out of the window right now. Netflix and everything. Netflix and everything. Oh, alleged, you know, because they did the documentary. Why, why wouldn't you do a, a building patrol in a, in a in a in a populated place where it has twenty four hour access? Exactly. That's 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 why the guard, extra guard was there for. Exactly. So here's what I'm trying to say: they try to build it up like she's in this um, dilapidated L.A. downtown hotel with no security, and here's this poor little Canadian, you know, God, you know, God bless the dead, you know, walking around. And she just gets attacked mercilessly in this hotel. And what we're saying is there's cameras, there's security. This wasn't supposed to happen. It, it can't, it, the odds against this happening and not being seen or any, cause you know, every, here's another thing. Everything is crowded out here in Los Angeles. Go to an alley, you'll see somebody in an alley. Go to a bathroom, there's somebody in a bathroom. Take a piss behind a dumpster and there's two people there. So in a high traffic hotel, in downtown LA, you're telling me nobody, that, that's another thing they try to make the hotel seem like it's an empty hotel. That hotel was probably crowded. It probably at had, the act- moment, at the moment, it was, it was, it was crowded. And activity was probably going all over the place. There's probably people on every floor. You can't go anywhere in LA that there's not people. Please tell me someplace there's not people. There's always somebody there, a few people. So that's and, another thing. And that's when they, they would rent out the suites, you know, on the 15th floor, yeah. you know, they would rent them out. Because there was two art galleries at the bottom. That's mm-hmm. where you could have your shows. And I think that's where people like from Europe, maybe maybe overseas were coming into downtown and staying there mm-hmm. and having the show right at the bottom. Okay. So, okay, so we're, we're getting up to your point right now. Okay, so I just want to set everything because every, people try to poke holes in things if you don't set everything correctly. So you worked at security there. You know it's... Patrols going on all the time. People being signed in. Cameras being watched. Because I've done security. You're always checking cameras. You're always looking for people on floors. Like even when I work security. If I see somebody on a floor, like, huh, what are they doing on that floor? You know, hmm, you know. So they, cause this is what you have to do. Because if something happens, they're going to come to you. Hey, didn't you see that? And you're done. So, okay, so and that's why, like, the guards that actually work there, they they uh, will have that post. They knew, like, the post commander. They knew everything about it. They actually made him sign what you call like a waiver. He couldn't say anything. Okay, so they would come to him. They would people would like would pay all kinds of money for the interview. He wasn't allowed to say anything. And if he wants to stay with you, call with the cover that he's working with. He has to be quiet. So liability. So liability. Non non disclosure. And then the people that they they, they they run check security are actually uh, uh, two of them, which you call their ex uh, motorcycle cops. Okay. Thirty years in the force. And then his son runs the business now. Okay, so the security guards that night all had to sign non-disclosures, allegedly. Okay, so that's another they, thing. They can't, they can't speak about it. They can't talk about can't it. Can't talk about it. 
without legal because they want to keep their job and of course of legal which you call liability once a lawyer is on you once you're sued boom you get a lawyer to defend you for like what 10 we can start at 10 maybe we start at 10,000 just to you know and plus uh, all kinds of li- you know, liability yeah LA is very litigious it's all litigious okay so non-disclosure assigned okay so let's go to the elevator okay on the 15th floor when she's act okay, so when she first came in, she knew the cameras to avoid, allegedly. She knew where to walk, where not to be seen on footage, because the only footage that we have apparently is on the elevator. So on the elevator, what is she doing? She's playing cat and mouse with somebody or something, right? Let's just focus on that for a second. Let's just <clears throat> So she's playing cat and mouse, okay, so in your opinion, what what was what was going on? Describe that elevator. Describe how 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 could somebody even do that with her? How could somebody it would take somebody who had to be there a long time, right, to know that the camera and to know where not to be seen. Talk about that. Yeah, man. What you call what I first when I first saw you know it seemed you know pretty strange. You know, mm-hmm. everybody had their own opinion. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, I do believe that the the, the CISO hotel had a bad uh, like a negative energy. Negative was, energy. Okay. There was, there was uh, what you call on the land. So before the CISO hotel was there, was there, there was something there regardless. Okay. You know, and then now over the years, everything that has happened at the Seas Hotel, mm-hmm. like from prostitution to drug mm-hmm. dealing to murder, murder, suicide, and then now her showing a suicide. That's that's not the first one. Pimps killing that which you would call their pregnant, uh, you know, uh, prostitute workers. You know, um, all kind of stuff happened there, man. And it was just pushed it beneath the rug, just uh, because it, it made sense for everybody to just keep these things like under the table. So what do you think she was talking to, Jay? Who do you think she was talking to? I think she was communicating with communicating with somebody, man. And like, well, that, that, a person that, living or uh, dead? Yeah, a person li- a living know, person. So she, yeah. she was communicating with a live person. You know, and that's where you go with all these conspiracy theories, you know. So you have that that uh, that company, the, the Invisible Light Agency. Visible Light Agency. They Describe sh- who they, they are. They share the same address as the Sea Salt Okay, what's that, what's that Six, address? 620 people? South Main. 620 South Main. And what's the name of the company again? Uh... The, the, the Invisible Light Agency. 